Wednesday. I'm here having my breakfast. Lovely little cafe in Melita. I've been coming here for the last six years and I never knew this place existed. Uh, it's got a colonial Spanish theme to it. But today, need to get some money. Two, need to get some petrol. It's eight o'clock in the morning and some classic music being played in the background. Well, there we go. So I had a good night's sleep last night. Lovely air con. These rooms are really clean, really tidy. Uh, yeah, they don't have a wardrobe, but they have really nice hot shower um, and everything tick in the box manager is very very nice young lady she was a nurse but now she's the manager look at that so I've just picked up some uh, water and some peanuts uh, and two bits of fruit uh, we're riding this way to a place called Jose Adaba Santos or locally known J-A-S. It's about 80 kilometers. Let's see what happens. Now it's into the world of the unknown. I've got no idea what's going to happen to me this way. When I get to J-A-S Thursday, I'm going to be riding further south. And I believe the road gets a little bit gnarly and a little bit more difficult. So this is the uh, Melita bus depot. Uh, on the right hand side, they've got the market stalls, the fish market, the wet market. In the background, you've got the mountains, which I rode over yesterday. And then the buses, which run to all the major cities from here. And then, hey, Koya, como esta? Okay, lang. Okay, lang? How far is Jas? Jas, Jas is Don Marcelino. How far now? Yeah. How how many kilometer? Eighty. See this. Ah, Okay. Ninety kilometers. There we go. A couple of hours. There we go. So the sign is there, hidden behind all the advertising. But that's what you expect. It's a slower way of life. So just uh, outside Melita, there is the San Miguel Global Power Station. So the coal comes in here, goes along a conveyor belt, goes up that conveyor belt, and goes into this site here. Massive, massive power station. Uh, but we're going this way. I'm going over there, up into the mountains. Security guard turned around and said that I needed a bigger bike. Bit of a worry, isn't it? I don't have any magic dust to sprinkle on Scooty. Let's see. What a glorious view. So uh, down here around the corner here is where the uh, power station is. And I've just come around this beach area. The road runs all the way along the beach. And now it's starting to come up into the mountains. Uh, so the drop on this side it's going to be anything up to 100, 150 feet. But it, it's beautiful. Half past nine. What a beautiful day today. The sea is calm. Hopefully it stays like that. Davel Occidental. In all of its glory. We're going to ride over this mountain range to the mountains in the distance. Not this one, but that one between the gap. That's where we're going. There's a statue of Jesus there. Looks like it comes from Brazil. Look at that beach all the way along there. Beautiful. The, the ocean here drops off very, very quickly from the beach because it's the Pacific. So it does become, you need a wits about you if you're going to go swimming. Calm day is great, get a bit of rough weather, a little bit of a wave. 
the actor soon wants to drag you out. Anyway, onwards, upwards. Well, the road, very, very good. I haven't got the jazz yet, but I've come across these coves. The water is absolutely pristine. It is so, so clean. Um, this, this bay runs, I don't know, maybe two miles. The bay I've just driven around is about three miles long. But let's have a look at it the other way, shall we? Look at that. It's shallow until you get where that line is. Just been talking to a guy there and he's turned around and said you can swim out to where that boy is, see? There's a boy out there. Behind that, it drops off very, very ra rapidly. But this is the bay. So there's people going out in their little boats and their little bunkers. Very, very nice. Lots of scooters on the road, which is good for me. And those four by fours. Oh. So I've just come across this little village, this little town, Barangay. The beach is over here. It comes around the bay. Uh, and then on the back of the bay and the back of the road, which is here, they've got this uh, really nice place. I've had some coffee in there. Re very, very nice. It's becoming very, very modern. It's becoming very, very chic. Um, it's an hour from Melita, the capital of uh, Davao Occidental. And uh, we're going, we're going on. Everybody keeps saying, hey, Joe, because I've got a crash helmet on. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It looks life in 10 o'clock. Look how quiet it is. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. The blue beaches, the blue sea, the white sands. Oh, I've just come down from the mountains which was quite hairy uh, and there's this beautiful beautiful bay but there's nobody swimming I don't understand it anyway I'm gonna see some friends across the road wait there hey, oh. there we go 16 years old she's trying to confuse me hello mom my name is Norma Norma? Norma Norma. Norma. Norma oh, and yours? My name is Rowena. Rowena? Rowena is Taliman. Saliman? Taliman. Okay. Uh, and the little boy? No, my, my Apo. Your grandson? Oh. Yeah? What is the name of this village? Huh? The name Barangay. Barangay Linadasan. Dasan. Barangay Linadasan. Where? How far? How far is Jazz? Very far. Far? far. Oh my god. Um, one hour. One hour? Mm. Oh my god, one hour. I've been there nearly one and a half hours. It's a long old journey. Huh? Yeah? What do you do, Mum? You hungry? Yes. Yeah. So as I've been coming along the road, I've been noticing these new bridges being put in. Uh, I've crossed around 20 today, and I've been up 25 inclines and 25 declines. I've just come over this mountain here, through that little gully, and around the bay. Very, very, very nice. Uh, great bridge, road each side, not clever. It's a rough road, so I'm take, it's taking me a little bit more time. Uh, but it's better than what used to happen. This used to be the road that comes through here, and you used to have to get across this in your on your bike, push it across, find the shallow area, so come around to over there, cross, cross, push it around, and go this way. So we're going up through that little barangay, around that mountain, up. Uh, it's glorious weather here. Look at that beach. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, look, at there's an egret down there. Look at that lovely egret. Beautiful day out there. But in the mountains, over that way, over towards Jensen, uh, clouds. Lots of clouds. Lots of rain. Scooter's doing okay there. Um, 
it's uh, 11.30. So I've been on the road for two hours. Wow, that's a long time. So on the top of this mountain here, or this hill, is a large uh, cross of Jesus. Uh, but I couldn't get up it because it's been raining and the footpath up to it, which is that bit there, is very, very, very slippery. And uh, I didn't make it. I failed. Just amazing. There we go. Uh, there's a barangay hall. We have the... Yo! Then we have the boulevard. Uh, and then we have the town this way. So I'm going down here. I've already taken one journey the wrong way. Hey, Kuya! There we go. So this is Chantelle, and she is in JAS. Yeah, and this is her friend. Hello, what is your name? Mayel. Mayel. Okay. And who are your friends over here laughing? Look. Hey. Come on, who are you? What is your name? Okay. You don't like talking to me face? Ah, uh, look, there we go. Okay. So I'm in jazz and I'm at this young lady's coffee shop. Hello, what is your name? Chelsea, sir. Shout out, mum. Yeah. What is what is the name of your coffee shop? <laughs> Hello, mum Jane. I have a customer. Hello, mum. Take care. What is it? From Malita. <laughs> what is the name of your coffee shop? The Justice Snacks Corner. Welcome here. There we go. She owns this. <laughs> now, for all of you men, <laughs> she's young. <laughs> She's young, free, and single, and ready to mingle. But she, ca she comes from Jose Abondo Santos, and it takes a long time to get here. She's embarrassed because now she's doing her hair, and she's starting to laugh. This is her friend, but her friend is already taken. Yeah. She already has a boyfriend here. Okay, so I'm going to order a burger. It's 45 peso or 1,800,000 peso with an egg. Oh my God. Our burger is so yummy. It does? Okay, I will have a burger. I am not having a Korean dog on the, on the Davao to San Sarangani Highway. I'm not having a Korean dog unless it's got four legs, a tail and two little, two little legs. There we go. Okay, I will have a burger, Mum. Okay. Okay, Lan? Yeah. Is it microwave or cookie cookie? Only one. Okay, so I've got this burger. There we go. The bun's quite nice, but I'm really confused about the pink sauce, whether it's pink cheese or pink mayonnaise. And the brown thing is a burger, but there's two little loblongs. Uh, and it's really, really sweet. Oh, I need to go for it. I'm going to Carinderia. This young lady just turned around and said the Carinderia is this way. So I'm going to go and get myself some chicken, maybe some canola, uh, maybe fried chicken, uh, maybe some canning, and uh, maybe some pakbit, uh, or some chop suey. Right, it's the Traveller's Inn. And... Um, in JAS. J -A -S. Uh, I'm in that room there, number three. It's got no toilet, no bathroom. It's a bed with a, uh, a fan, no AC, little balcony area. Got these biocubos in here, and you've got a cooking area over here. Got some rooms on the top there. Uh, but for its downsize, it's right on the beach. Yeah.
look at that bay all around there. So I came over this mountain here and came along. It took me two and a half hours to get here from Melita and we're going this way tomorrow. Great breeze, really, really nice breeze. Uh, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. So, uh, J-A-S Travellers Inn. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's open. Um, it's got something to do with the mayor. Or the lady who is the mayoress. Because uh, when I went to the barangay, from my hall, which is what I normally do, they turned around and said that I needed to go and... Uh, oh, there we go, it's down here somewhere. It's the toilet. I needed to come here, which is what I did. So, uh, got an outside cooking area. Very nice. Got an outside wash area. Um, and then we've got some comfort rooms. Oh, that's the shower. Oh, and this one's the toilet. Hmm. Where is the famous light switch? Is that it? There we go. Top one for left. As you can see, quite basic. Go for a wee. Well, as you can see, I bought the sunshine. It, it's raining. <laughs> <coughs> I just um, asked a lady at the Travellers Inn for um, internet and she says they have it but you need to turn around and pay in coin so what you do is you go online you register and then you turn around and pay either 10 peso for one minute so I said, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. Nobody's out. It's very quiet. We're looking for food. Really, really muddy. Oh, up on the corner here, that's where I had coffee earlier. Yeah. Good food? Hello oh, mom, how are you? Very well, how are you? I'm fine also. Okay, so we're gonna have for dinner I'm gonna have some marlin, yeah, and canning. And rice. Canning and you have vegetable? No. 
No vegetable. No vegetable. No panchi can. Biho? Biho. Okay. Biho. 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 I will have Biho. Yeah. Fish. Fish. Canning. You have Coke Zero? No, Coke no. Zero, no. No. We don't have Coke Zero here. No. No. No, no. No Coke. No Coke. No. Uh, diabetic coma. Okay. So I have this. I sit over here, yeah? I sit here, yeah? yeah. Yes, sir. You can sit there. Okay. How much money is it, mom? Uh, just pay after you. Yeah, but I only have 1,000. It's okay. It's okay, Lan? It's okay. Okay, Salamat. <laughs> so, uh, there ain't no power. So, uh... We have a brown out. Hey, Koya, how are you? Okay, Lang? Ah, I'm going to In English? Who's talking English? Yeah. Eng English Dao? You're going to speak? Oh, you sit here? No. You... I got a lot to show my face. That's, that's good. That's okay. You have long nose or flat nose? Come on. Here we go. This man, this man can't put his face on the camera, even though it's brown out. Yes, brown out. Yeah, look, look, look. Oh, you sit down. Sit down. Don't, don't, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Don't, 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 don't video. Okay. Video is over here, Koya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You are sitting here. Look. Yeah. See, you are not here. Yeah. 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 He's going to practice his English. What is your I name? Am, I am John Louise. Hello, John Louise. How are you? I am feeling exotic right now. You're feeling exotic? <laughs> yeah. You're feeling good. You're feeling good? Yeah, because of the weather. <laughs> Very nice. Ulana? Yeah, it's raining yeah. in Manila. <laughs> it's raining in Manila. It's raining in Manila. Hey. Hey. hey! hey! There we go. So, I'll get him some food. Wow. It's raining. It's half past five. There's a Karen Derrya on the corner here, uh, which is opposite the school. And I've just found out that you can actually stay in that Karen Derrya overnight, 12 hours, 100 peso nice little room a air con or a fan and you can get some food with water uh, I've just had some uh, pancit canton uh, rice and tuna soup 85 peso 85 peso my god unbelievable it's still raining yeah it's still raining but I was well, very, very shocked. Really, really, really nice people in there. Very, very, very nice. Uh, so I'm back in here to my store. Oh. Hey, Kuya. Oh. I'm getting some tracker. I don't have any food and everything is off there we go uh, I've had all the coke zero now I'm into diet coke uh, but I need that because so humid and I am leaking yeah absolutely leaking what's this one here oh that's medica liquid medication uh, there we go
So the power went out around about five o'clock. It's uh, twenty past seven now. Um, this is my accommodation. Um, got a light here. Door here that goes out to a balcony or veranda that goes down to the beach. I've got a fan here that's just come back on. Uh, I definitely need that. Uh, I've got a double bed. There we go. Uh, toilet is out the door. Turn left. Go left. Straight in front of you. There's a toilet and a shower in there. It's very, very nice. Basic, but it's very, very nice. Um, this is it. Um, got window and curtains here. Uh, got windows and curtains here. Um, it's arcane, so it's bamboo walls, apart from the outer walls, which are in concrete block. Okay, rebar, rebar down the middle, and then they're skimmed, and then they're painted. Uh, if I buy a kubo out here, outside this way, yeah, this way is the bathroom and the toilet, and there's a cooking area. Um, and then behind that door there is the beach, but I'm not going to open it because it's going to let in the mosquitoes. But it's cool again in here. God, it's been hot for the last three and a half hours. Um, that's why I don't have anything on. You're not going any further, guys. Yeah, you're not going any further. The wiggly worm stays where it is. But it's uh, people have started cooking, started eating, because they can see what they're doing now. It gets dark here. It's really, really dark. And it's jet black. But anyway, so I'm going to chill out, I'm going to have a cold drink, or a warm drink, and uh, get my head down. I'm hoping that tomorrow, when I go day three south, there's not been any landslides, and I can get along the road and along the coast road. Um, you need to plan when the tide is out. Because if the tide is it's a high tide, the full moon, it will wash over the road and you have to just sit there and wait. But uh, tomorrow, low tide, one o'clock. Let's see how it goes. <laughs>